When it comes to hearing, musicians are a pretty unique group. Why? Because musicians depend on an acute sense of hearing to do their job to the very best of their ability. Well, what about those who love to listen to music? Same thing. An acute sense of hearing is critical to enjoy those amazing arias, rollicking rock songs, or polished pop tunes. But live performances can be so incredibly loud. And unfortunately, hearing loss from loud music is a real risk that musicians and concertgoers face. Many people don't realize that hearing loss is more common than you may think. About one in five people in America have some amount of hearing loss, which means about 48 million people in total. One study showed that musicians have four times the risk of developing hearing loss and are almost 60% more likely to develop permanent tinnitus or ringing in the ears. As the science and practice of audiology progresses further, research is piling up that shows the negative effects of hearing loss on our emotional, social, and physical health, even going as far as affecting the brain and how it works. As a musician or concertgoer, have you ever left a show with muffled hearing or ringing ears? Have you ever had trouble hearing in a restaurant or bar after a loud show? Most people have experienced this at one time or another. What is it? Well, it's temporary hearing loss from exposure to too much loud noise. Normal hearing seems to come back in a few hours or maybe the next day. Or so we thought. Research now clearly shows that some of that damage is indeed permanent. When hearing becomes damaged, people experience dull or muffled hearing. Music and lyrics don't sound as clear and crisp. Enough damage over time can distort a musician's perception of pitch, which can interfere with their playing or enjoyment of music. Overall, ears with hearing damage cannot hear the fine details of music or speech that give it such a clear and beautiful sound. Clearly, Hearing loss is the last thing a musician or concertgoer wants because it interferes with something they love so much. What are the two things that any musician or concertgoer can do to still enjoy music while at the same time protecting their hearing? There's two simple steps. Step one, get tested by an audiologist. Step two, let the audiologist prescribe high fidelity hearing protection for you based on your needs. The end result from having professional care by an audiologist is clear. Preserve your wonderfully tuned and very valuable sense of hearing while at the same time fully enjoying music. Here are the details. First, see an audiologist for an expert evaluation of your hearing. Audiologists are the only ones qualified to perform such a deep evaluation of your hearing system and have the advanced training and knowledge to correctly interpret the results. The first step is to have a standard hearing test called an audiogram. An audiologist will know which frequencies or pitches to test in between the standard ones, which reveal any hidden noise damage that may have happened already. Next, the audiologist may use high frequency audiometry. This tests your hearing for pitches well beyond the standard range and into the higher register. A deep evaluation of the hearing system for musicians should always include a test called otoacoustic emissions. This is a test of our very fine grain and detailed hearing ability that can easily be damaged by noise. It shows the very early signs of noise damage. This information arms you and the audiologist the understanding needed to take the proper steps to protect your hearing going forward. On the other hand, it may show that you have no hearing damage and that the way you've been listening to or performing music is just fine and you don't need to change anything. When it comes to hearing protection, there are three main categories. First, foam earplugs. These have the advantage of being inexpensive, easy to get, and fairly easy to use. The problem here is that they muffle and distort the sound too much, which is why many musicians and concertgoers don't like using them. Next, 
There are stock fit or generic fit filtered earplugs. These plugs may come in a few different size choices for smaller or larger ears. They have an acoustic filter inside that lowers the overall volume to a safer level while maintaining pretty good fidelity. These are fairly inexpensive and can be easily bought online or at music stores. The major problem here is that it can be hard to find plugs that fit your ear comfortably or at all sometimes. The other issue is whether they slowly work their way out of your ears over the course of a show, losing their effectiveness and distorting the sound, or otherwise causing you to have to push them in repeatedly. Finally, there are professional grade musicians earplugs. These are custom molded plugs that are built from ear impressions from your ears made by an audiologist. They have an advanced filter that lowers the volume to a safe level while keeping a high fidelity sound. The filters are interchangeable as well for different types of genres of music that may be softer or louder. These are significantly more expensive than the other types of plugs. The upside is their excellent sound and the guaranteed comfortable and stable fit since they are custom made for your ears. So there you have it, a quick guide to how to protect your hearing while still enjoying the beauty and fullness of music performed live. Hearing is one of our most valuable senses, and once you lose it, it's gone. Better to protect it now, to hold on to your ability to hear all your favorite instruments and singers in every little wonderful detail. Not to mention avoiding all the problems that hearing loss causes. See an audiologist for your care and enjoy your hearing and your music for many years to come.